Hi, in this video we will explain RTS UTS mechanism. RTS UTS mechanism is used in wireless uh, channel accessing. Uh, it's actually a wireless channel accessing mechanism. In wireless when multiple nodes want to transmit data. So instead of carry sense multiple access with collision detection, collision avoidance is used. Uh, reason because the when the wireless when the signal travels from one location to another location they <coughs> they lose some energy and after a particular uh, point all those signal will be destroyed so here we will see how RTS TTS mechanism will work so in NS2 we have written the script we are having three nodes two zero and one so now we are looking at the their transmission so we will increase the time a little bit ok so here uh, if you can see uh, whenever they want to send they send a RTS packet so destination will send the CTS and other intermediate node they would know that there will be a active communications session going on so they will wait now 2 will send RTS destination will send the uh, CTS and then they start communication data if at the both time they send RTS destination will reply only to one node and the intermediate node, intermediate node also listening the RTS packet or CTS packet, so they would know the, uh, which node going to be transmit data. So here, if you can see, if a node is receiving CTS packet, in that case only they will send the data. So here you can see one is sending data, zero is in data waiting mode because the two node two no want. Uh, not to want to communicate with A. So here now we are saying 0 1 communication. Now say 2 has moved far. Now 2 cannot listen RTS packet of 0, but 2 can listen CTS packet of 1. So that's why it went to data waiting state. So now 2 sent RTS received CTS from 1 and then send starting data. So this is the practical demonstration of RTS CTS mechanism how node works in wireless communication using RTS CTS. Thank you very much.